The U.S. and North Korea returned to the negotiating table in Sweden, but the two countries have differing stories on how those talks actually turned out. When America's Chloe Salsameda breaks it all down. A new round of talks between the White House and North Korea ends, leaving more questions than answers. After hours behind closed doors on Saturday, North Korea's team emerged, saying discussions were called off after just one day, and they're pointing blame at the U.S. The U.S. raised expectations by offering suggestions like a flexible approach, new methods, and creative solutions. But they've disappointed us greatly and dampened our enthusiasm for negotiations by bringing nothing to the negotiation table. But the White House denies this, saying talks aren't called off and decades of war and hostility cannot be solved over the course of one day. This week's meeting comes after a rocky start for President Trump and Kim Jong-un, with both taunting their nuclear capabilities. And we can't have madmen out there shooting rockets all over the place. And by the way, Rocket Man should have been handled a long time ago. But that tension simmered when the two met for a landmark summit in Singapore in 2018. My meeting with Chairman Kim was honest, direct, and productive. We're prepared to start a new history, and we're ready to write a new chapter between our nations. That meeting ending with Kim committing to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. But Pyongyang showed little signs it was following through on this agreement. Then came the summit in Hanoi in February, when the president cut the meeting short because he and Kim were not on the same page. Basically, uh, they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. We had to walk away from that. Many questioned if the two would meet again, and they did, in June when President Trump made history, becoming the first sitting U.S. president to set foot in North Korea. I'm proud to do that. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Since then, Pyongyang has test-fired several missiles, even launching one from a submarine this past week. But with the U.S. and North Korea appearing to be on different pages after Saturday's talks, it's unclear if a follow-up meeting is on the horizon. The U.S. says they're willing to return to the negotiating table within weeks, but there's no word yet if the North Koreans will join them. Chloe Salsameda, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.